So I got banned and uh, not a single member of the staff has reached out to me or no one seems to really like think that they did anything wrong. So I'm giving a full timeline here after talking to Sheep on the Agamatsu stream and five barring him because he has the most idiotic take I have ever I've ever heard. So starting from the top, why I was banned. So a separate CC in the uh, Deep Woken CC chat last night asked the senior mod Alpha if he could make jokes about a situation where Valakus was threatened with mod action in the Deep Woken Discord. What had happened is Valakus used Natoon's Deep Woken model and thumbnails and the senior mod said that he quote, just had to use common sense and he would be okay. For additional context, several members of the mod staff got on Valakus's head last year when he said, no, I'm not gonna stop. You're inventing rules to punish me unfairly. Back on topic, I took this opportunity to ask Alpha what using common sense actually means as a rule, since that's super vague and it's impossible to follow properly. To this, he said, do I need to explain to you how to be a normal person? Since he came out of the gate insulting me, I followed up by saying I wanted more than a room temperature IQ take. I didn't say that he has a room temperature IQ. I said that that was just a bad take, and I expressed that I wanted more clarification, and I used that analogy of the Valakus situation to show that common sense is undefined, and really, you just end up at the mercy of whatever mod you happen to be talking to. He then trolled the conversation and said that's never happened, and he wanted me to provide an example because I guess he can't read or simply cannot grasp the use of an analogy. I responded with saying the, the video's on Valakus's channel, and I said www. YouTube slash Valakus. He said that I'm if I'm going to be a yapper, I might as well be consistent. Following this, I called him a moron and was instantly banned. Now, th there's supposed to be a process for being banned. They do the bot. It tells you why you were banned. It shows your warns. That didn't happen. He right-clicked banned me within 20 seconds of me calling him a moron because I got he got his feelings hurt, essentially. So... That happened at 7.34. I called him a moron and I was banned that very same minute. Immediately, other CC in the chat called him out and said that was a bullshit reason and it was unfair. They asked why I was banned and said you need to defend your decision, essentially. He replied a few minutes later that it was because of room temperature IQ and that I called him a moron. The, the CC, again, saw right through that bullshit and he doubled down and said, actually, it's because of my over two-year-old warns and because I called him a moron. When again the CC said that that's bullshit and it makes no sense, a different mod, Rat Removal, showed up in the server and he said that I was actually banned because I said that the staff shelter pedophiles. When you look at the timestamps, the conversation where I said that they shelter pedophiles happened almost two hours before I was actually banned. At the time of that conversation, other senior mods and Archmage were in the chat. Archmage said both sides, Calm down. We want what's best for the game. Let's just relax. And it was done. No one had a problem with me saying you shelter pedophiles. No one. This was hours before my ban. Moving on to actually talking about that message where I said you shelter pedophiles. Again, once that Alpha realized that his claims were literal nonsense, the staff then decided to run with the statement that I was banned for saying they shelter pedophiles. To give further context to this message, I was pushing a back against that new rule po posted in the CC chat. I made the argument that while Rat thinks that my ban for not safe for work warns is completely justified, Archmage did not and unban me. This highlights how there's a lack of clarification in the rules that leads to bias, and ultimately, you can get banned off of what a singular mod thinks when another mod wouldn't have had any problem with it to begin with. I made a very clear, respectable point. In response to this, Rat Removal called me a weirdo, claiming that my not safe for work warns are the reason I should never be in the server to begin with. Again, these warns are two years old. Following this, because he personally attacked me, I responded and I said, how dare you get on the high horse? Don't say shit to me about weirdos when there are literal pedophiles that were on the staff. That's not an accusation. That's not baseless. That is real. That happened. That's not a lie. That is the truth. That a thousand percent happened. They have this new idea, essentially, that in relation to my ban, the CC are held to higher standards than the average player who might break a rule in general chat. That's why you see hard R bypasses, slurs, all kinds of crazy shit in general chat, even though there's mods in the chat at the time, and no one gets punished. To this, I say, the conversation we were having, where I said that you shelter pedophiles, happened in the CC-only chat. Only content creators and mods were able to see those messages. 
It's not like I went into the general chat and created a riot and like started a hate storm. I said that in a private chat that only we could see. The only reason people are discussing the pedo claims again is because the mods went into general chat themselves and said, that is why I was banned. They're the ones that brought it up. They're the ones that put it in the spotlight. I did not tell anyone. I did not go into general chat. That entire conversation had in private and it would never have seen the light of day if the mods themselves did not go and post it. Someone had tried to tell me, sheep had tried to tell me, well, you posted a video. My video came out at almost 11 o'clock at night, a good four hours after my ban. I'm, I'm not the one who broke this news. It was already news. People were already in general chat pissed off, okay? I simply stated my side of the story. I'm not the one who caused a hate storm or a riot. I simply said, this is what happened. If the mods don't want people to say that they do fucked up shit, they shouldn't do fucked up shit. There are consequences to your actions. If I'm supposed to be held accountable for what you believe is a, a, an insane infraction of the rules, then you need to be held accountable when you do the same. Okay, that's, that's that. I never blindly accuse the staff of sheltering pedophiles. I brought up the ROM situation and they're now trying to rewrite history and claim that no one ever knew. That's just not true. Several people have brought up concerns about Curse Saber and the information was buried and determined to be untrue. Three months later, not even, oh man, not even three months later, Rom, who was banned from the game, banned from the Discord, not a member of the staff, someone entirely unrelated came and exposed four different members of the staff for being pedophiles. Get that. Someone completely uninvolved with the moderation of the game had to go out of their way to collect evidence, talk to the victims, and then break the story because they did not believe it. They did not do their due diligence and look into the claims. Just three months ago, not even three months ago, this year, a known member of the community, Sewer Milk, was accused of grooming members of the community and had even attempted to create an inappropriate relationship with the content creator Inu. There was no question about the validity of these claims. The evidence was overwhelming, and the accused Sewer Milk had, at the point of realizing people were coming for him, deleted his servers, changed his name, changed his tag, and tried to lay low. At the same time, his close friend, Nico DeGaio, had spoken to members of the staff to clear his own name since people had accused him of creating a docs document to then silence the victim of sewer milk. For two weeks, I sat on the evidence that showed that all of that was true. I kept telling the victim, you have to talk to the staff, talk to horror, talk to a senior. In my mind, I thought that there was no way that they would fuck up again after everything that happened with Rom. I was confident that it would be taken care of. For two weeks, nothing happened. The victim spoke with multiple members of the staff and the evidence was dismissed as possibly fake and they would not do their due diligence. They would not hear out the victim. They did not do what was necessary to fix the situation. Only at this point did I make a video and I personally spoke with horror who confirms in these messages that a mod dismissed the evidence and horror personally had to go and ban two groomers out of the community because the mods involved would not do their job. They did not believe the claims. By not doing their due diligence, by not properly handling these claims, even after four different members of the staff were removed for being pedophiles, not even six months prior, the staff have a thousand percent created an environment which shelters predators and gives them the opportunity to prey on members of the community who take advantage of the staff's weak and pathetic attempts to actually stand up to this behavior. It is insane that the biggest like dramas, the biggest events where pedophiles are removed from the community is because of individual CCs going out of their way to expose the situation. I have done more myself as a band uh, like CC to fucking take, on, uh, take pedophiles out of the community. I have done more as just a random guy than the actual fucking staff themselves. They 1,000% create an environment that shelters pedophiles. People 1,000% knew about Curse Saber. They knew about jamming and jamming. They knew and they chose not to do their due diligence. They chose not to follow up and do what was necessary. And for months, they continued to stay on the staff until Rama himself had to come and break the story. Do not say that I'm making blind accusations when it is all true and you know it. Moving on to the, my prior warns. A lot of people on the staff are saying it's because I had prior warns. Let's talk about that. 
I was banned for three not safe for work warns in March of 2023. Two of the warns now are two years old. The first one, like I've said prior, was Primadong. That's on me. In my computer, in my files, I have Primadong.jpg, Primadong.jpg, and I clicked the wrong one. I fully messed up. That's on me. The second one was a meme that I literally saw in general chat, saved, and then reposted in player general. The third warn was complete bullshit, and Arch himself even said, that's a reach. Arch unbanned me. I thought we were good. Months ago, I had a private conversation with Archmage. I apologized for anything out of pocket that I might have done, and we were on good terms. Arch and I joke around in the CC chat. We were good. I apologized. I didn't understand the, the grasp of my influence that I had to act better. I didn't think the warns were necessary, but I understood where the staff was coming from. Everything was okay. I also see this random like uh, idea that I just got unbanned and then went and immediately started a fight. I've been in the Deep Woken Discord for months now. I've had the CC role for a month, maybe even two months. I've had it for a while and there have been no problems. The mods involved provoked a fight. I defended myself. I called them out. Archmage, the senior mod said, let's relax, everybody, it's okay. Hours later, I had a genuine question. The senior mod alphabetical trolled me, and I said, all right, man, you're a moron, whatever. And I dropped it, and I got banned for that. Wow. It, like, especially as a content creator who interacts with mods a lot, in the actual like CC only chat for the Deep Woken server, if you ever disagree with them, they will be the most hostile, immature people you've ever encountered. They will, without a doubt, it's like a bingo card and you're like free space is that they will call you buddy or try to emasculate you in every sentence. They will do everything they can to piss you off. And when you finally do act out and say something back, they weaponize your anger against you. And it, it's like, it's over. It doesn't matter if you were right in the first place. Now the problem is this guy's a loose cannon. He shouldn't have CC role. It, and every, almost every CC has a story like this. And a lot of the normal players have a story like this. Maybe in the future, there's some sort of like better system, little like better vetting, or you have to be a little older to be a mod. I don't know. I, I really, I'm just speaking about my experience, trying to give a voice to a lot of the people in the community that feel like they have lost a lot of what they're paying for with buying the game over nonsense reasons. Cheers.